I just feel like I'm this whole new person, like it's not even me. Mm -hmm. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's video, I'm gonna be testing a bit of new makeup that I purchased recently. Grab a coffee, grab a tea, we can talk. Um, if you're new here, then hi, my name is Nicola. I do mostly like a clean makeup beauty looks. Yeah, so that's what I kind of do here. Mm. And then I also will be doing something new, something really exciting because I wrote a book and I'm translating it into English. Uh, I already did a video that I will pop somewhere um, if you're interested to check that out as well, like some kind of different journey f for me. Today we're gonna be doing makeup because I, I spend a lot of money. Because it's my birthday month, my birthday is on the 23rd of October, so like this whole month I kind of like treated myself. I treated myself a lot. Oh my god, I can't. I can't do this. Also, um, I'm wearing a wig. Um, so, and it's not glued on, so I apologize for that, but I was just too lazy to do the whole process of it. Um, but yeah, so let's get into it. So I already kind of like prepped my skin. I just washed it with water and then I put on my sunscreen from Supergoop. I think it's called Supergoop or Super Goop, Super Goop. And then I just put on primer from Weave. It's the Skin Nova Instant Radiance Primer. Because I actually purchased uh, some things from Weave, but I think I'll make that like a completely different video with the products because I think Weave deserves its own individual video. I am so excited because I have a few products that I was waiting, waiting to get. Another product I had to purchase from Cult Beauty. I purchased only one product and we're gonna do it right now. It is the Patrick Ta New Foundation and Powder. I literally waited for this to arrive in cold beauty. I have mine in the shade Fair 2 because I have like more neutral undertones. This is the famous fingerprint packaging that he has. <laughs> this is gonna be so so dirty. It comes in 24 shades. It says it has a medium but buildable coverage and yeah I'm just so excited. Um, it has that plastic protector as he has with his cream blushes. Really, really excited. It has also really nice big mirror, which I like. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna zoom you in and we're gonna test it out together. Um, so I was thinking how to apply this. Um, I don't usually apply with a sponge. I don't like that. So I'm gonna stick to my normal foundation routine and I'm just gonna take a brush but now I'm thinking which brush because <laughs> I have two favorites I have the Red Beauty one I have Huda Beauty one and now new one I have this one from the Essence and Catrice Villains new collaboration and I've been really enjoying this one so I think I'm gonna go with this one with the new one that I really am enjoying right now because it's just so soft okay so I'm gonna dip into this beauty. So scared, okay. Oh, hmm, interesting. Okay, it definitely has medium coverage, that's for sure. Because I'm more used to like skin tints and no foundation at all because I have really dry skin. But this one so far, hmm. It looks nice on the on the skin as a first impression, you know. But then you still don't know how it's gonna react with all the products, which I'm really scared because 
everything is new like I haven't tried anything and from these new products that I'm testing right now so I'm a bit nervous that they may not work together which I'm gonna be really sad but so far this is really nice like I'm not gonna lie not that I'm saying it because I love its products no it's it's really nice can you see it like it gives me pretty medium but still light and buildable coverage like you can still add more and it doesn't look cakey at all it's it looks really nice can you see the glow the little glow it gives me and I don't think that's because of the skin because the primer that I put on is actually dewy as well but I think the foundation itself the powder the cream foundation I think it's kind of a bit dewy itself I haven't seen his tutorial how he applies it okay so um, yeah I really like it it was super easy to apply um, I could go and apply more and make more coverage but as I said my skin is a bit super dry and um, so I'm gonna leave it like this there's a bit of patchiness or how do you say it around here but that may be because of my skin as I said it doesn't have to necessarily be that foundation I also think like the shade matches me so much it, isn't it I think it matches me really good I'm really impressed I'm gonna go back uh, to the powder I'm gonna do my under eyes first some of the products may not be new to you but they're new to me so like with this one I finally picked up this elf brightening concealer and apparently this is supposed to be like a little dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury concealer not the new one I think the first one I don't know how it's called okay so it's like a pen I suppose um, and I just have to click it right so I kind of apply my concealer why is it not working yeah, there we go now I put too much so I like to um, put my concealer just here like in the inner corner or how do you call this and then just slightly right here because I don't like to put that much concealer and as you can see there's already a lot going on because I pumped up so much I just like slightly dab the concealer in my nose and my under eyes are the most driest of all so yeah I just don't put that much of concealer or foundation right here because then it's it's really patchy it's really flaky like a dry skin like dead skin and I just that's why I kind of failed with this concealer because I put too much now I think there's time for the powder Um, I don't know how to apply it I'm just gonna dip into the powder just a little bit okay it has a bit of kick out and just to the oil t-zones I'm just gonna apply it like where I would apply normal powder it's right here did it, did it blur out my skin? Hmm. interesting I also put under my eyes because my eyes, my under eyes get really crazy which you can already tell I really like it. I, I, I cannot explain that. It, if like it blurred out my under eyes or what. Also here my nose. This complexion um, powder duo. I'm really... I'm glad I bought it so so far. So good. Um, moving on. I'm gonna do my brows I think off camera. I'm just gonna use this Patrick Ta The Shaping Wax. Okay, so brows are done. I don't think I want to fill them up. I want to kind of leave it natural, like really clean today. So I'm not gonna fill them up with any color. I mean, this wax already is tinted, so it kind of gave me a bit of color. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna leave them like this. 
for now I may change my mind while I'm doing other things um, I don't know if we should stick uh, still to complexion or I should move to eyes um, I'm gonna sip uh, from my coffee and think <laughs> Okay, so I think we're gonna do the eyes. Only two options I have that I recently purchased are from Colourpop. And I purchased these two palettes, um, which is Twist of Slate and Clay It Cool. They're not like completely new new releases, but like Colourpop releases um, new collections every week. So like they are new to me. We're gonna use this one today because this one is a little dupe for the Patrick Ta eyeshadow palette I think the second one, the more rosy, which is $68 and this was only, I think, 12 or 15 so big difference it has also a um, cream, cream shade that I already swatched and I already actually applied it uh, yesterday. I wanted to see how it looks like. So I'm gonna dip my fingers into the shade Meet You. I think this is good as base or I think you can you could also wear this on its own. I haven't purchased anything from Colourpop in a while um, so that's why now I'm a bit excited because there were times where I was actually ordering from Colourpop like almost every month because they just release so much so many things at once and I was really obsessed with Colourpop but like now I kind of chilled out and I'm like no I have to stop um let's go really easy okay so I'm gonna dip into the shade right here which is called the body talk and I'm just gonna put it on top of the cream so now I'm gonna dip a little bit into the shade High Fire, which is the lightest shade right here, uh, just to kind of blend out the edges to make it more softer. I'm kind of always bringing my eyeshadow a bit under the brows, like right here, um, because I think if I look if I look straight, like you cannot really see that I'm wearing eyeshadow. So that's why I'm putting it like right here. So far, so good, I think. I really like it. It's really simple, really natural looking. That's what I wanted. So yeah, I really like it. Maybe I'm gonna deepen it just a little bit with, I don't know which shade, either Kiln It or this one right here, which is called Aphrodite. I think I'm gonna go with the kiln it because it kind of matches my my top and I'm gonna put it right in my outer corner. Yeah, I like to do both of my eyes at, at the same time um, just because I don't like to do one eye first and then the other one. I don't know why, I just like to do both of my eyes at the same time. Okay, now I'm just gonna blend it with the same Giuseppe brush that I used before. Okay, so I think I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna also use some shimmer. The second one, which is called, called Earth Bay, like that one. And I like to apply shimmers with my fingers. And I'm just gonna dab it. I think on my inner corner, I'm gonna use the first shade which is called Motif. It's the first one right here. So I'm gonna dig my pinky. I cleaned out the edges just a little bit. And now I'm gonna do the under eyes. I'm gonna use the By Nicola small brush. And I'm just gonna dip into the first color which was the body talk and just put it under my lashes and now I'm gonna dip into the kill it which was the darker shade that we put in the outer corner and I'm just gonna put it slightly right here and I'm gonna leave it like that and also on the other eye 
Okay, so I think that's it for the eyes. Um, I, not completely because I have two mascaras. I have purchased from Colourpop also this Act Natural Defining Mascara. So I can use either that or what I purchased is this Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes Duo, which I'm so excited because I wanted to try the eyeliner because apparently the eyeliner is really easy to use and also if your hands are really shaky or like you're just not good at applying uh, eyeliner, apparently the eyeliner is really good for that. Um, but I don't know if I will put eyeliner today because I really suck at doing eyeliner, I'm not gonna lie and I don't want to ruin the look if I'm gonna mess up, um, so I don't think I'll use the eyeliner. Oh, okay, it comes like in this packaging. So I'm just gonna open it, I'm so excited. I love opening new makeup. Oh, wow. Okay, so the eyeliner is super cute. I mean, like, maybe to you it's nothing new, but like to me it's like I'm so, excited and um, but I don't think I'm gonna try it today I'm so sorry but we can use instead of this mascara the Rare Beauty mascara Um also the packaging so cute it has really nice applicator actually I love to smell new mascara I'm, I'm weird I know ah um, and just like really fun think something about me when I was a little I was already obsessed with makeup and I would steal my mom's makeup or I would just paint uh, glue like this fake kids nails that uh, came in like small uh, how do you call it? like small package like they were really plastic fake really colorful kids uh, fake nails and really fun thing that I used to eat my mom's lipsticks. <laughs> I know, I know it may sound so strange, but every time my mom had a lipstick or lip balm or whatever, and she went like somewhere and she left her little cage, uh, cage, what the hell? But when she left her makeup bag on the table, I always sneaked around, took lipstick, and just eat it. The whole lipstick. I was really obsessed with eating lipsticks and lip balms. And sometimes I kind of still have that feeling. Um, like if I see new lipstick and I just smell it and it smells so good, I just want to eat it. But I'm not doing it anymore. Okay, I just told you like a funny fact about me, but I don't do it anymore, I swear. Another fun fact about me, or like fact in general regarding makeup, is that I do not like to spend that much money on mascaras and eyebrow products because I think to me they work the same, no matter how the quality is, no matter what brown it is, they're all the same, to me at least, I don't know. If you love your Benefit pencils and brow gels and whatever, then it's completely fine. It's just to me, I'm not gonna spend that much on that eye pencil. The same with mascaras, but I think this Rare Beauty one, I really like it. I mean, but like nothing new, you know, like nothing, something like, oh my god, like this mascara, you have to buy it. No, it's not, it's not that special to me. It's just like, okay, I have mascara from Selena Gomez, but like, it's not something... I purchased it, okay? I purchased it because I wanted to purchase it because of the eyeliner and when you also get the mascara, then why not? It's just mascara, you know? You don't, you don't need it. If you want to support her brand and you really want every product she she comes up with then yeah of course you can i mean whatever but like if you really are looking for mascara i mean there are a lot cheaper alternatives for you than to buy this one but i mean it's cute it's it looks nice so there you have it honesty moving on back to 
the complexion. I think first I'm gonna add a little bit of bronzer and then I'm gonna move to cheeks. Um, I purchased two blushes. One is from e.l.f. It's the Luminous Putty Blush and I bought it in the shade Belize. With this blush, like this whole collection of whatever they have, these putty blushes and, and bronzers. Listen, I don't know if it's only me, but that bronzer, the putty bronzer from e.l.f. and also the previous blush, putty blush from e.l.f. It just doesn't work for me. I'm so sorry. I gave it away um, to a friend because I just, I tried so many times, I tried that hard that I purchased the e.l.f. blush, the putty blush, twice. And I still have one uh, in my collection. It just didn't work for me. What I'm really excited is that I purchased from Sephora because in my Sephora it works a bit different. We don't have that VIP sale like they have in America. Now until tomorrow we have 20% off of everything. So I purchased this new Fenty Beauty um, cream blush duo and I think we're gonna try this one to be honest even though this one would match me more today with the top as well but I'm really drawn into this one this is the packaging really beautiful purple color the first impression is always so so exciting so this is how it looks like on the inside and we have colors Pony Dropper and Malibu's. I think I'm gonna use this color right here, which is the Malibu's, or I'm gonna actually mix them together. I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty brush. Uh, this is a bronzer brush, but I use it for my blush. I always have to do things differently, so. Um, but I wanted to add a bit of bronzer, but I'm not sure how to do it. I'm not sure, I don't, I'm really scared to use powder first and then cream blush on top because I just don't know how it's gonna work together. So maybe we're gonna be bronzer free today. What do you guys think? Should I put a bit of bronzer? I don't know. Maybe a tiny bit. Are we gonna do it? Are we gonna do it? Or I'm gonna use cream bronzer. What do you guys think? I think I'm gonna use cream bronzer. Okay, so when we are already trying the Fenty new blushes, so I'm gonna quickly do my bronzer from Fenty. It's the cream bronzer and I have it in the shade Macchiato. I'm just gonna dab it and I'm putting it a bit like upwards because my I have a round shaped face, so I'm always chubby. I can lose weight. I can do whatever and my face is still gonna be chubby. So that's the life of having a round face. Temples, and I like to bronze my nose like this. <laughs> I mean, the foundation still looks really good. Um, it's not like it's taking out the foundation, like the bronzer, but like here, it's a bit patchy. But that may be only me, I don't know. I do a bit my jawline just like this, just quickly, because I'm too lazy <laughs> to do like proper contouring and stuff like that. Okay, so bronzer done. So let's move on to the face duo. I'm so excited for this one. Um, yeah, so as I mentioned, I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty bronzer brush and I'm gonna dip into the darker shade first. Just slightly dab in. Oh, it's so beautiful. The color itself, it's so beautiful. Look how it blends out into the skin. So quickly. Ah, I'm gonna smile and put it also here. But look at this blush. I really like blush. Uh, I'm, I'm really into blushes. I have enormous amount of blushes in my makeup collection, which is hilarious. But I just love blush. I cannot help it. Like, look at that. <gasps> look at that color. And look how easy it is to blend. It's within a minute. Oh, I love Fenty and their products. I really do. Should we add a bit of the, of the lighter one? I really like it like this. 
Or should we try it? Or we're gonna we're gonna dip into it just a little bit, right? Right, yeah. So I'm dipping into it just really slightly. <laughs> no, I'm gonna be too blushy. <gasps> this color, you guys, can you tell? This is really pretty. But now I put too much, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just press it into the skin with a different brush. Okay, so I'm really impressed. This is worth every penny, I don't care. So if you really are waiting for this or like you're hesitating if you if you should buy this, you should buy it. I I really love it. We're getting to the end. I'm sad, I would like to talk to you more and just do more makeup, but we're getting to an end. To an end. I'm gonna quickly overline my lips with the ColourPop lip pencil I don't know in which shade oh, okay this is in the shade brink so the reason why I got lip fillers uh, on my top lip is because uh, my left lip uh, was more downwards than the right one so they were pretty asymmetrical so that's why I got lip filler in the first place but still the left side is still more down than the right one I don't know how I don't know why is this happening to me but like my upper lip is so asymmetrical and um, then I have to like still overline the left side even though I got lip filler but like of course lip filler they like disappear within months uh, so this is it's been like years since I got the lip filler so years passed like it's been like two years since I got lip filler or a year I purchased this this is also not new but this is really like all over TikTok it was all over TikTok and it's the Tarte Maracuya Juicy Plumping Lip uh, I got mine in the shade Primrose. So let's try Primrose. Ooh, okay, so the packaging is really beautiful. I guess it's gonna be on the pump. It's gonna be pumping, oh, which I don't like that much. It's like really... Okay, so apparently this is supposed to give you plumping effect and also this is supposed to look really juicy on the lips as it was all over TikTok. So that's why I purchased it, so I'm excited to try it. Mm. Wow. Okay, so first impressions of this. This melts like a butter. Uh, it's really, it has really that buttery effect. Oh, now I can start to feel the tingling. Ooh. It feels like you're applying lip balm actually, or like lip mask on your lips it has really tiny tingling but i can feel the plumping se sensation only on my top lip on the bottom i don't feel anything um really nice color it kind of matches the the blush as well it's more like cooling effect like it doesn't give you it doesn't give you like the tingling sensation it's more cooling um so I don't know if it's gonna plump my lips at all. A little disadvantage to me is maybe because I put too much, as you can tell when I talk. It just creates like this, I don't know, weird things, but that's maybe because I apply too much of it. Overall, it's it looks really beautiful. Next time I'm gonna apply a, le a lot less. Okay, I swallowed a bit of the, <laughs> of the, of the lip balm and it's really, I can, it's a bit spicy. So also I just wanted to show you how the makeup looks like in front of natural light. So I'm standing in front of my window. It kind of blurred out my skin, that powder, the Patrick Tarte. This is how I, how I look, how it looks like far away. So just, you can see. I kind of like it actually. I really love this whole look, like how it turned out. So. Yeah, guys, I think that was it. That was our little makeup session. Get ready with me and try new products. We 
I did it pretty quickly to be honest, I'm not gonna lie, I thought it's gonna take us a bit more time. You can also comment down below what's on your Sephora uh, VIP sale wish list. Um, we can talk in the comments a little bit or you can also follow me on Instagram and reach me out there and we can just have a little Q&A or just talk about makeup or you can ask me anything about my book and how the process is going. As I mentioned, I will also be um, doing the get to know the characters, which I'm really excited. Uh, that, that video is gonna be long, I'm pretty sure. I think that's it. Now I should drink my coffee and go for a walk with my dog, with my beautiful <laughs> face. Isn't it that like when you put on makeup sometimes it gives you a tiny bit of confidence and you feel like a completely different person because to me it sometimes I feel like that. I'm not really confident but like sometimes when I put makeup and I put fake wig and I'm just like I just feel like I'm this whole new person like it's not even me like I'm a character myself. So yeah I'll go for a walk and so I hope see you in the next one, right? Bye, see you. See you in the next one. Bye.